Mom, 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 don't move. Adam, get that Pikachu off my Kani salad. Gotta catch them all is right. If my kids aren't running around town trying to catch Pokemon, they are busy wolfing down large amounts of sushi. Everything Japanese is quite the rage. And today we're going to be making a Kani style Japanese crab salad. I frequent the sushi bar at my local grocery store and I often pick up a snack for the kids in the evening. Now, one day I happened to see this amazing looking salad. It looked like noodles and uh, crab strands that were tossed together in a creamy red sauce. This looked so delicious that I had to try it. I brought it home and everyone in my family loved it. So I decided to recreate this recipe just for you. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and today on Cravings Food Adventures, we're making a Kani style Japanese crab salad. Now this isn't real crab. I'm well aware of the fact that it's imitation crab, but it's really so delicious. Now taking this apart is so therapeutic. I will sit there and pull out strand by strand. If I'm in a rush because I'm making a large batch or I'm preparing something for a potluck or a party, I will usually enlist the services of my younger son and I will bribe or pay him to do this job for me. In my recipe, I like to use equal quantities of noodle and crab. And the first thing I'm going to do is prep the noodles. Now I'm using rice noodles and these are gluten free and much better for you than regular noodles. What I also love is that they're so easy to prepare. I like to just soak them in some hot water and after a few minutes they will soften up. Then I drain the water and I just rinse it with some cold water and leave it to drain till I'm ready to use it. I'm now going to prepare the dressing in a small bowl. I'm going to add three tablespoons of mayonnaise and I'm going to add equal quantities of sriracha sauce. Now you can use as little or as much sriracha as you can tolerate. For the mayonnaise, it's best to use a light mayonnaise. If you can find a Japanese mayonnaise, that's a lot lighter. And what I like to do is just squeeze in a little bit of lime juice and that just helps to lighten everything up. My crab strands are prepared and ready. I've got about 150 grams of this. This is close to five ounces and it's about the same weight as the noodles before they were soaked. If you want to add more crab, you can go right ahead and do that. Now in a large bowl, I'm going to add my noodles and I'm going to follow that with all of the salad dressing that I prepared. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of black sesame seeds. This gives a beautiful texture and a lovely nutty taste. And some spring onions. Now this is gonna freshen everything up. I've just sliced about two spring onions and I'm gonna throw that right in. And finally, I'm going to add the crab. And using two forks, I'm going to blend everything together really well. So all of those noodles are just covered in that delicious Japanese mayo and sriracha sauce. The Kani style Japanese crab salad is ready. This is one of my older son's favorite recipes and because it's so easy to prepare, I'm gonna hope that he's gonna take this recipe with him to university when he goes in the fall and he can easily prep this for himself. This is also a great snack for my kids when they come after their very exhaustive Pokemon hunt and they can wolf down a large bowl of this delicious salad. If you like noodle salads, please click on my Thai crab noodle salad as well as my Chinese crab noodle salad. Both of those are delicious. We have oodles of noodles for everyone. Thank you so much for watching me on Cravings Food Adventures. Don't forget that I upload new videos every Friday. So make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see them. Until I see you again, do take care.